This has turned into a story time slash let's try out something new because I'm gonna cry away my problems. Besties, good morning and God bless. I'm looking like a middle-aged woman that um has been through it and I'm feeling like a middle-aged woman that's been through it. Talk about the tale of two days. Yesterday I was having a slamming good time hanging out with the girlies, having a fun summer day. And then today I was crying in the CVS parking lot. There were tears shed a lot because I was just, it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal, but like it was. Story time, yesterday I got a notification on my car, like on the dashboard thing, like a light popped up, you know, like, like fun little lights. And I was like, what just ignore it? Except it said with like a big triangle, it was like brake pads. It was like, brakes are pretty important. I don't know much about cars, but I know brakes are pretty important. Bring my car in to the little mechanic. I'm driving daily, he's driving to the daily mechanic, <laughs> waving. Hee <laughs> hee, good grand old time, hee <laughs> hee, laugh funny. And I drop off my car and he's like, yeah, you just need new brake pads, which I know brake pads, I Googled it. So I didn't like seem like an idiot. Brake pads, like when you brake, when you press on the brake, it's like a little like, I don't know what it does, but like it's basically like a padding. And when you press on it, it obviously wears out over time. And after, when it gets like really like down to like nothing, then it gets really bad. And then it gets like really, but brake pads apparently aren't that expensive to fix. Like 40 or $50 apparently. I don't know, this is what I was told. Um, that's not great, but it's not awful. It's not a lot, look at all my pads. You can tell I've been through it today, besties. I'm driving my mommy's car. I'm driving my mommy's car to my friend's house. I'm having a whole good old grand old day. The mechanic is like, yeah, your car is done. We'll just drop it off, whatever. And then you can pay tomorrow. I'm like, absolutely. Like, you know, we're like, we're cool like that. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll pay for tomorrow. I'm thinking like $75. I'm like, ugh, that's annoying, but like, whatever, at least the brakes are fixed. And he told me when I dropped it off, he's like, if you wait, there are these things called rotors, R-O-T-O-R. -O -O -R. Um, those are really expensive. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, if you like wait, and you didn't get these brake pads fixed. This is before he was looking at the car. He's like, if you waited, um, it would have been like a thousand dollars to get these rotors fixed. I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, I'm on top of the game. Like I'm really killing it right now. Like I just saved myself a thousand dollars. Like I was gonna ignore this light. And I'm like, ew. <laughs> like I'm like baller. <laughs> I just saved myself a thousand dollars that I don't have. <laughs> like cool. Like, this is great. Today, I'm gonna go pay for this. I go drive to the mechanic. <laughs> and I go in and I'm like, hi. He already knew who I was, obviously. He hands me the bill and he's like, 1122. I'm like, what? I thought I misheard him. <laughs> I thought he said 112. Like 11 too, like 112. I'm like, oh my God, that's a lot. He's like, yeah, you need a new rotors. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, you need a new rotors. And like, there's a lot of inflation with COVID. So like the COVID uh, shipping delays, especially for car parts. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, these are like triple what they usually are. <laughs> I'm like, you mean November 22nd? <laughs> Silly goose, you must have misread something. And he starts going through it. $1,122. And in my credit card. And I'm like, I don't have this money. Go to CVS. I had to go to CVS anyway. And I'm sitting in the parking lot. I didn't even go in the store. I just sit there. And the whole way to CVS, leaving the mechanic to CVS, I'm like, Eleven hundred dollars, and I was like, I'm gonna spend a hundred max, max. Go in the CVS parking lot, and I just let it out. I don't really cry often. The water works. It was, it was Niagara Falls in the vehicle. That sounded sexual, but it was completely not sexual. It's a Saturday, like everyone's out. Summer, summer fun. Summer fun in the sun. 
And there I am, there's Jelly Danny. I'm just sitting there crying. No sunglasses on, no mask on in my car. Sitting there and letting everyone, all the passersby take it in. Just take it in, look, look at this. Staring at the bill, just crying. There's this nice little old man next to me in his car next to me and he's just reading the paper. And I'm like, that looks blissful. <sighs> anyway, so now that that story time is over with, I still have $1,100 to pay, but you know what the best therapy is for money, because money's fake, is to do, is to review a new product. <laughs> just keeping it real in the daily for the Daily Danners. We're gonna have ourselves a self-care Saturday. SCS, self-care Saturday. Drake Kids did a collab with Nasific. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and frankly, I don't care to look it up. And by collab, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was an actual collab. I just saw pictures on Twitter of them promoting the product. I got photo cards with the products, but like nothing, I, they're not in the lab with the Nasific people like this, this good stuff. We have two things today, besties. We have the pink, pink, I'm um, a haba haba. A haba, a haba which comes with a cleansing balm, toner, serum, and a cream. And this was just like, they were holding these products and then you got photo cards with it. And we have this Fresh Herb Origin Serum. It's all in Korean, obviously. It's a Korean brand. I can't read Korean. I, I mean, I can, so, I can see like some words. I noticed some words. This is the stuff that I saw they were all holding in those like pictures, in their promo pictures. How cutesy patootsie. First things first on the realist, um, in the words of Iggy Azalea. Start with the pink Mahaha, Ahaba, uh, cleansing foam. And I can't read this. Read directions on an English uh, one E either. So there's no difference there, no difference. Stray kids, it doesn't say stray kids. I thought it would and I wish it would. I wish you would. Cleansing foam action. I put on my tumor. It's in my mouth. <laughs> Why did I put so much on? What do I think this would accomplish? I got the entire bottle off of my face. I feel refreshed. I'm not in the right headspace to be doing a like a review. It's more of like a I need to put this on my face to kind of like um, forget about my problems type of situation. Toner. I don't, I assume this isn't full size, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I'll give it a feels good out of 10. It sings up. Um, it comes with the pink Bahaba uh, serum, but we're gonna use the fresh herb because I remember I saw a picture of Chan and Lena holding it. Like they're like, you know, like, photo shoot for a product like that's so weird like how do you hold like <clears throat> oh my god it smells like iced tea looks like iced tea too should i drink it that smells slamming that smells completely slamming it smells like lemon tea like a lemon hot tea. It's a little grease ball. You know why Lino and Chen were holding it like, cause it smells like beautiful tea. Thing on the agenda is the pink Ahaba cream. Okay, no smell. I like it. From the start to the end of this video, my mood has changed drastically because yes, my mind was taken off the fact and now it's brought back. But what I do to say is I'm gonna use these every day. I just wasn't expecting anything because I had no thoughts, just nothing, just the, it was just 1122, 1122, 1122 floating in my brain, just those numbers. I give this like a nine out of 10. It doesn't smell, these don't smell. This I give a 12, no, no, no. For smell, I give it a hundred out of 10. For like use, it's maybe like an eight out of 10. It's a little grease ball. I think I used too much but it smells amazing and I understand. I mean, I would ask Stray Kids to model my products as well, as well as BTS. I mean, what an incredible review this was. If they're looking for a new skincare to look for, just like Google Nasific Stray Kids <laughs> or bought Pink Bahaba and Fresh Herb. I have sensitive skin and it's not like breaking out yet. So 
I'm assuming it's fine. Just, I needed to vent and rant. And I'm so glad the besties came along with me to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we can follow along for more Daily Danny Life Chronicles. Because my life's a joke. I will see you in my next video. And hopefully it wasn't after a mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah, little vampin'. No one opens the door.